¿Qué tal amigos de Xbox? Yo soy Gabo Chuck y estamos en el Halo World Championship 2017 y como parte de las celebraciones tenemos invitados de lujo. Me acompaña Kiki Wolfkill. Welcome back. Oh, it's so good to be here. I love being here for this event. So first of all, how do you feel about being part of one of the most important video games in history, Halo? Um, I mean, first it's an amazing honor. Like I, I've always been a Halo fan. I've always played the Halo games. Uh, and so to actually get to work on something that you love, so not just being in games, which I love, but also working in IP that you love, and to be able to, to give that back to other people and really shape uh, the future of it is an extraordinary honor, and I, I feel so lucky. This is a little bit out of script, but what will be your, your favorite Halo and why? Well, that's a tough one because, uh, you know, I would say from a pure gamer perspective, Um, Halo Combat Evolved was my favorite because that was my introduction to the Halo universe. Um, but I would also say at a sort of purely personal level, um, you know, Halo 4 was uh, an incredible sort of professional and, and personal challenge and accomplishment and being able to again sort of take something you love so much and try and, and sort of preserve it but also move it forward a little bit was, was um, incredible. So that also has a special place in my heart. Now, we're in this huge tournament, the World Championship, but uh, what do you guys have to do in order to put Halo as one of the biggest games in esports? Well, I mean, it's, you know, we're lucky because we're starting with Halo 5 Guardians, which is an amazing foundation from a multiplayer perspective. Not a, you know, not by chance. We worked with, we had a pro team and we worked uh, thinking about esports when we were designing Halo 5. Um, But you know, console esports is uh, is smaller than PC esports. Then again, with Halo 2, we sort of pioneered esports on console. So for us, it's kind of getting back to our roots, um, and it's been it's been incredible. It's been incredible seeing the sport grow, seeing the spectators grow. We see more families coming in and watching, and that's amazing. And I think one of the things that's unique with Halo as an esport is it is something that is really to, easy to come in and watch. You don't need to understand everything that's going on and the actual gameplay itself and the competition is really easy to get and you get caught up in that competition like so quickly. The energy is amazing. Do you have any plans to get uh, also Halo Wars into the eSports? Yeah, I mean, we're thinking about Halo Wars 2 and what makes sense there. Ultimately, it comes down to seeing how the audience reacts and where the community has energy to figure out really what is the best foundation for building an eSport, whether it's a grassroots effort or a, a, a professional effort, we kind of need to see where, where that energy is. We have some thoughts on, on what we think will make sense there, but we really want to see the audience react. I bet it wasn't easy to get um, the, an RTS game to consoles, but Halo Wars 2 is considered the best one. How do you guys feel about it? Well, you know, people had been asking for Halo Wars 2 for a long time. Halo Wars um, sort of set the stage as the first console RTS and it had a really strong fan base and so it was it was kind of a matter of time before we we did Halo Wars 2 what i think we were able to do with it though is take that console RTS and what worked with Halo Wars and kind of give all these different modes of play um, including really a new a new genre with blitz mode in terms of strategy games so you know it's 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 got a lot more breadth it has sort of the traditional depth that that traditional RTS players like but then there's things like uh, blitz mode which is faster paced I personally play that mode the most because um, I love card based games and so I think we've also offered something new the story wise how important is Halo Wars 2 in the Halo universe Yeah, I mean, one of the nice things about doing Halo Wars 2 is Halo Wars did have a beloved story and a beloved set of characters. So from a sort of overall franchise perspective, it let us move uh, a set of characters forward um, and also bring it to contemporary universe. So it's, it's in the Halo 5 timeline um, and introduce some new characters. Atriox um, and the Banished uh, are all new for Halo and something will carry forward in other games. Now, we already have seen Halo as an RTS and, of course, a first-person shooter, but can you imagine Halo as an RPG or...? Well, I mean, Halo is a universe, and we tell stories with it uh, in all sorts of different ways and places, and 
So for us, we're always looking at how can we tell maybe a story a different way, um, and different genres could help us do that. We um, we currently are, are focused on, you know, sort of watching what happens with Halo Wars 2 and um, on the next steps after Halo 5, but we're always, we're always thinking about other genres. Obviously, you already have your minds set up on Halo Wars 2, but what's next for you guys? Um, well, you know, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of the parts of the business. The television series is something we're still developing, um, and we are thinking about what is that next step for uh, for the shooter itself, for the first person shooter. So, um, we have a lot of teams going, and um, you know, now that Halo Wars 2 is launched, that lets us focus on some different efforts. Thank you so much for talking to us. Anything else that you would like to add for the fans? Oh, uh, so. We love our fans here in Mexico. The energy and the passion, like I thrive on it. So for me, it's always such a gift to be able to come here. So we're really excited to be here and really excited to bring the World Championship here. Thank you so much for talking to us. Pues seguimos aquí en el evento Halo World Championship 2017. Nos vemos en la próxima.